The burnt-out shell of an old building in the Liberian capital Monrovia. The ruins a reminder of a 14-year-long civil war that ended in 2003. A prosperous economy built on the exports of rubber, diamonds and gold collapsed, creating widespread poverty and an economy heavily dependent on foreign donors. Liberia has been trying to rebuild, but now debts it racked up before the war are threatening to undo its recent economic gains. Creditors in the Caribbean are pursuing Liberia for 20 million US dollars for a loan that when the country took it in 1978 was just 6 million. Creditors are known as vulture funds. They buy up old government debts, mainly of poor countries. They then pursue the government of the day for return of the full amount with interest, making huge profits if they get the money back. Our appeal is, you know, give a struggling country a break or trying to come out of a, you know, 25 year economic decline and just trying to make it restoring basic services to our people that have uh, been denied this for so long, educating our young people, um, it's unconscionable. In November 2009, two vulture funds, Hamsar Investments and War Capital Limited, took Liberia to court in Britain. Liberia was ordered to pay the $20 million. The president says they can't afford it. Liberia's needs are vast. Its health care facilities and services are badly out of date. It's in desperate need of qualified and specialist doctors, labs, technicians and life-saving equipment. It's not just the ageing that are feeling the need. This is the intensive care unit for babies at JFK Hospital. And as you can see, it's sparse and poorly resourced. For example, they only have one incubator serving hundreds of babies that are born prematurely each year. Liberia may have been thrown a lifeline by British parliamentarians. In April, they passed a law banning vulture funds from pursuing debt cases against poor countries through the British courts, throwing into doubt the November 2009 judgment ordering Liberia to pay the 20 million. We very much hope um, that it will mean that that uh, f outstanding fine of $20 million um, now is, 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 n is not enforceable. It certainly won't be enforceable in the UK and will be very difficult in the European Union. But the vulture funds may not give up so easily. They know Liberia has some money, evidenced by recent corruption scandals. I know there will be those who are unsympathetic and say Africa wastes resources, African leaders or governments are corrupt and therefore let them pay, you know. Um, I hope there will be more people who will see it the way we see it and will help us to solve this problem. The vulture funds could now take their case to courts in the US and if they succeed it will deepen the hardship just when Liberians thought things were getting better. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Monrovia, Liberia.